An idol is a God you have created within the figment of your mind and imagination. It's an idol that exists only inside your mind. That's a God. When Jesus says, yes, no one can say no. When Jesus says, yes, no one can say no. When Jesus says, yes. That song, that song is an idol in your mind. That song paints the picture of a God that only exists inside your mind. That God can force his way through anything. Once he says yes, you are not born to say no. He will force you. He will bend you. He will break through anything to make sure what he says happens. And you say you believe that Jesus was crucified? <laughs> when they were crucifying Jesus, were they saying yes to God? They didn't crucify Jesus because they believe in him. They crucified because they hate him. So when we say God says something and God also did it. <laughs> you have to be careful. God's dealing with a man is to an end. What's the end? And if God wants to save a man, he will lavish him with goodness. God does not save a man by throwing trouble at that man. It's your goodness that leads men to repentance. So when God wants to save a man, what will God do to a man? He will pour goodness on that man's part. And that goodness will make that man to consider that there must be an invisible personality that is making my life like this. God will not use Satan's weapon to deliver you from Satan. You didn't hear that. God will not use Satan's instruments to deliver from Satan. Somebody says, I believe that Jesus was a great prophet. <laughs> he was a great teacher. He was very humble. But he is not God. You cannot be saved. You are not expected to create him. Then believe what you created. Did you hear that? You are not expected to create your own God inside your mind. Then believe that God you have created inside. So now we are believing in what we have created in our mind which becomes an idol. Jesus is the Christ. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. 